Hey everyone, welcome back to After Effect tutorial, today we are creating photo frames slideshow effect, like this. So let's start it. First create a new composition. Called Rectangle Frame, you are free to choose any name, dimension 1000 by 600, 30 frame per second. Then choose Rectangle Tool and double click to make a perfect rectangle. Then duplicate shape layer. And resize the top layer a little bit so that it's look like a frame. Then select bottom shape layer, and choose track matte alpha inverted matte, if you not found this press F4. Now import your footage into timeline. Resize your footage if required. You can add any image and video footage. Now select text tool and type any text as you like. Align text center of the frame. Now go to effect and preset, and search evaporate effect and apply on text layer. Press U to show keyframe. As you can see when we go few frames forward our text is blurred, we don't want this, so, swap the keyframes. Now you can see our effect has reverse. Also move the text layer a little bit. So when we animate frame so text will be appear a little bit delay. Perfect. Now create another composition, it's called butterfly. Change height and width 800 by 800. And hit OK. Now import our butterfly body and wings image into the timeline. Now adjust both butterfly wings like this. You can find all video footage link in description. Then select right wing and move the anchor point like this. Do the same on left wing. So that when we animate both wings they move the same exact point. Now select all three layer and make 3D layer, again if you not found this press F4. Now select right and left wing, and hit R for rotation. Go to the first frame of timeline. Select right wing, and add a keyframe on Y rotation. And change rotation 35 degrees. Then select left wing layer and add a keyframe on Y rotation minus 35 degree. Now go to 10 frames forward and change both rotations 0 degrees. Then again go to 10 frames forward. And enter the same number that we have put into the first frame. So it's look like this. Now we want to add some expression so that both wings move continuously. So, go to right wing and hold alt and click rotation stopwatch to appear the expression layer, go to expression language menu, this little button, then go to property, and select this loop out expression. Add same expression on left wing also. Now you can see our butterfly wings move continuously. Perfect. Now go to again rectangle frame comp, and drag butterfly comp into the timeline. Resize it according to your choice. And place anywhere you want.
Now add some drop shadow in butterfly. Change distance 15. And softness 30. Now create another new composition, it's called square frame. Height and width around 600 by 600. Now create the same frame as we create on rectangle frame. So, I am speed up this part little faster so that you don't have to wait. Now create again new composition, it's called main comp. This time create full HD composition, 1920 by 1080. Now drag rectangle and square frame composition into timeline. Before we animate these frame, add a background, so drag background image into timeline. You can add any other background image, resize it little bit bigger than composition. Then add curves effect on background layer. And adjust the curves according to your background image. Then create a new black solid layer. and move above the background layer, then select ellipse tool. Double click on ellipse tool to make perfect mask. Go to mask 1, and check inverted. Then expand mask 1, and change the mask feather around 300, and opacity around 60%. Now select square frame comp player and add drop shadow. Distance 30, and softness also 30. Then copy this effect and paste on rectangle frame comp player. Now place both frames as you like, I am just showing you example. You are free to place both frames anywhere. Choice is yours. Now convert both frame comp player and background layer into 3D layer. Then create a new camera. I am using 35mm preset camera. And also create a null layer and parent camera with null layer. Also convert null layer into 3D layer. Select background layer hit P for position and move Z position far away to camera. Then resize the background layer bigger than comp size. Now select rectangle frame layer hit P for position, and move Z position little closer to camera. Then select square frame layer hit P for position and move Z position far away to the camera. Then resize it. Now place your footage as you like. Go to around 2 seconds forward and add a keyframe on position. Then go to first frame and move both photo frame out of the composition. Then select both photo frame and hit R for rotation, and add a keyframe. Then go to 2 second forward and rotate the both photo frame little bit. and offset the rotation keyframes little bit.
Now select all keyframes and easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, if your graph not look like this, right click, and select edit speed graph. And make your graph like this. Perfect. Now add wiggle expression on both photo frame comp player position. Hold Alt and click on the stopwatch to add expression, and add wiggle expression. Wiggle open parenthesis point 3 comma 10, close parenthesis. Copy this expression and paste second frame layer also. Now select null layer and hit P for position, and shift R for rotation. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe, then go to around 6 seconds forward and change the Z position little bit away from the camera. And also change the Y and Z rotation. Select both rotation key and offset little bit. So that this null layer give a little movement to our camera. Perfect. Now import light leak footage into timeline. And make a 3D layer. And resize it, if required. Hit P for position and change Z position little closer to camera. And change blending mode normal to screen. And opacity around 50%. Now import particle footage into timeline. Also make a 3D layer, and change mode normal to screen. And change Z position closer to the camera. Perfect. It's look good to me. Our first slide has complete. Go to few frame forward when our null layer animation has stopped. Then duplicate both rectangle and square frames comp, and move them together. You can choose any number of image, I am using three images on my second slide, so that I am duplicate square frame comp one more time, select all three comp player and move. Hit you to show keyframes and delete all keyframes then place your footage anywhere you want and also trim the our first slide frames comp player when our second slide comp player has been started as i already said you are free to place your footage anywhere i am just showing you example Do the same adjustment as we done our previous slide, and you can also add your own animation. I am speed up this part, so that you don't have to wait. We done our image placement. Now duplicate light leak and particle footage and move together. And also move them where our second slide animation started. Now, add some transition effect, so, create a new white solid layer. Then go to between our first and second slide. Go to few frame back and select the white solid layer and trim. Then go to few frame forward and trim the white solid. Go to first frame of white solid and hit T for opacity, and change opacity 0% and add a keyframe. Now go to few frame forward and change opacity 100%. 
Again go to few frame forward and add a keyframe on 100%, then go to few frame forward and change opacity 0%. So it's look like this. Move this solid in between first and second slideshow. Perfect. Now open null layer and add keyframes on same amount of number. Then go to around few second forward and change position and orientation. And offset orientation little bit. Hit enter set end point, right click to trim comp work area. Now replace these images, go to project window and duplicate the rectangle frame comp. Also duplicate the square frame comp two time. Now replace first square frame comp with square frame two comp. And also replace the second rectangle frame with rectangle frame 2 comp. Double click to open it and change the image. Do the same with other comp layers. We do our all animation. Hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.